Today's morning coffee vinyl side. Johnny Mathis, Open Fire, Two Guitars, 1959. Johnny croons with a small guitar and bass combo on this 1959 Holland imprint manufactured for general European distribution. Conveying a fireside intimacy, Johnny sings some soothing romantic seductions here, accompanied by guitarists El Keola and Tony Matola, and with either Frank Carroll or Milt Hinton on double bass. This is very French Riviera evening breeze kind of stuff, very Spanish or Portuguese balcony or Mediterranean coast romantic balladeering. You get the idea. And boy, does Johnny turn it on. I can only imagine what was going on in his life at this point because this kind of album hits some pretty specific notes. Young, gorgeous, and somewhat out particularly in Europe. Johnny embodies a certain youthful Greek ideal here. If I close my eyes, I can see men and women getting lost in his seduction and hear the old SNL skits featuring Antonio Banderas where they were saying, No, Antonio, too sexy, too sexy. There is a style of guitar playing and I'll obscure the reference a bit to protect the identity of the guilty. That is positively dripping with seduction. And I had one guitarist of some fame and reputation tell me, as he was perhaps trying to seduce me as a young adult protege, that he knew what he could achieve physiologically when he played in a certain style. I wasn't about to nuzzle my nose in his outstretched hand while he bragged about his prowess. But I got it, and I saw him do it like a parlor trick as he shot me a look across the room as if to say, See? The effect on both the men and women there was undeniable. As I listen to this, I know that Johnny knows exactly what he's achieving here. He's just not a predator like the other person I was speaking about was. But there is a kind of falseness to this kind of contrived intimacy because it is an aesthetic contrivance, and therefore I personally can still resist its weaponization. I think that's still what makes me less subject to the effects. This is still beautiful, but maybe just not as beautiful as it pretends to be in its artifice.